Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a growing storm that is located in the southern plains and this will continue to dump heavy rainfall across parts of the southern plains, the Dixie Alley and as well as near the Gulf Coast and will continue over the next several days perhaps even into mid next week. We'll also be watching for a growing high pressure system that'll start to bring warmer and as well as drier air to a large chunk of the United States and we'll also be discussing a storm that's on the horizon going into late next week that might bring some severe weather. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the southern plains and this is the area that has been very active over the last 24 hours. There's a lot of moisture right now coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. We have a very strong southerly wind and with that being said that's going to be able to allow a lot more moisture bring those dew points as high as the 40s 50s and 60s in some spots and that is why we're seeing just so much rain right now across parts of the southern plains back through arkansas missouri and louisiana and this is all going to start to shift off to the east over the next 24 hours as we do have a cold front that's moving through this region and we've already seen much cooler weather especially across areas in northern texas and as well as back into oklahoma back near the gulf coast it's still a bit warm there but we are going to see more rain chances over the next 24 to 48 hours and that'll start to trickle in a bit more i'll show you that in the future radar here in a second back over in the southeast we are noticing a lot more cloud cover today in comparison to the last several days across parts of florida georgia and alabama we're gonna have a better shot of rain as we go later in this weekend and as well as next week and there's been a lot of moisture there it's felt very humid so keep that in mind that is obviously gonna be a bit of a prerequisite to what we're gonna see in terms of rainfall now we do have another big storm that i haven't really talked about yet and that's actually back over north of michigan this is not really gonna impact the united states much but it is a pretty defined low pressure system there's a little bit of rainfall in parts of northern Michigan this evening, but again, it's nothing too crazy, and I don't expect much impact out of that. It will move into New England tonight, and we might see a little bit of rainfall, maybe a little bit of flurries as well, but overall, pretty minimal stuff. Northern Plains drying out for the most part, some cloud cover on the northern side there, and also back over on the west coast, atmospheric rivers continue over in the Pacific Ocean, which is continuing to bring a lot of rainfall to parts of the Pacific Northwest, and that'll continue over the next few days, but overall, the amount of rain that is falling there is starting to go down down now we're not seeing nearly as much rain as we've seen over the past week or two let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the next several days and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream and right now the jet stream is quite strong actually look back up here in the parts of michigan and back into the northeast that's a pretty strong jet stream right here this yellow that you're seeing here represents a jet stream around 160 to 175 knots that's again very strong airplanes that go through that they're going to have a very strong tailwind and they're going to go west to east much faster because of it uh, but we do have a low pressure system just off to the north of this and that is bringing a little bit of rainfall some light snow to parts of Canada now down to the south we actually have a high pressure system at the very bottom of your screen you really can't even see it it's actually gonna be south here of Louisiana and the southern Gulf of Mexico so that's giving us a little bit of that twirl here in the polar jet and notice again this is your jet stream as well so we got a couple areas basically intersecting each other here in the jet stream right now uh, and then again we have that strong jet stream back down in the southern plains that's allowing for all that cloud cover and moisture to basically go off to the north and northeast right now. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, as we go throughout the next several days, things will change. That high pressure system will continue to sit south of Florida. By the time we go into next week, we'll have to watch a couple of areas, one of which will actually be back down in Texas. We're gonna have a low pressure system developing overall fairly weak low pressure system no severe weather out of this most likely but this will be actually bringing more rainfall to parts of the gulf coast and as well as the southeast united states which again desperately needed across those areas including louisiana where there has been a very significant drought here as of lately and by the time we go into late next week we will have to watch this area very closely back over here in the rocky mountains now we've been watching over the last several days the computer models on the long term and we've been noticing the european model and the gfs model showing a storm that would develop somewhere over into the west and would basically move over the rocky mountains and into the great plains if something like this were to happen especially during this time of the year since we are technically in our second severe weather season this would be something that we'd have to watch for because it could very easily bring a severe weather threat potentially even a significant severe weather threat and we are getting close now to like mid to late november into december so this might even be something to watch for more closely maybe even for the dixie alley which they've not seen severe weather at all as of the last several 
several months. So that would be obviously something to watch for closely. But again, we are talking about the long term. Things change a lot. Your PML has been changing a lot with this sort of thing. But again, if we got a trough like this with a strong jet stream and also a low level jet going, we very easily could be watching our next severe weather event right here. But obviously, again, there's still several days out. We're obviously over a week out from this even happening. So things could change, not to panic you by any means, but still stay weather aware over the next several weeks because we are really due for significant severe weather somewhere in the United States. Because again, October and November are technically our second severe weather seasons across parts of the Southern Plains and eventually toward the Dixie Alley during this time of the year as well. So again, keep that in mind. Obviously, no imminent threat, but it will be something to watch for over the long term. In terms of the future radar, we are going to continue to watch rainfall across much of the Dixie Alley and back through the Gulf Coast, including parts of the Southern Plains throughout the rest of today into tomorrow. Eventually, by Saturday, rainfall continues here. I mean, we're really not going to have any breaks from this for the most part. It'll be on and off rain, but again, you're going to probably see some at some point during Saturday and Sunday for the Gulf Coast. By the time we go into Monday, another little, little storm clipper system sort of thing back over in Canada, that'll drop into New England with maybe a little bit of some flurries and very light rain. Again, nothing crazy. By the time we go into late Monday to Tuesday, we actually might get a storm to start forming again in Louisiana and Texas. Um, I don't expect this to be like a tropical storm by any means, but it will at least bring some rainfall to those areas. It will not have enough time over there in the northwest Gulf of Mexico by any means. Rainfall will continue across Florida by the time we get to Thursday to Friday of next week. And this is again what I'm talking about by next weekend. We might see some sort of big storms forming. Again, we actually have two that the European ball is picking up on, but again, this is very long-term thinking and things are bound to change. Now, some good news out of everything I've just said is the rainfall. Obviously, a lot of rainfall is coming to the Gulf Coast. Key is at the bottom of your screen for inches of rain. And notice really the best places for rain for the next seven days, this is all the way through Thursday of next week, will be anywhere basically south of this line here. So if you're down in the Gulf Coast, anywhere in like Alabama, Georgia, Texas, pretty good chance you'll see some rainfall. We even could see upwards of four to six inches of rain when it's all said and done back down in parts of southern Texas. So again, very beneficial rainfall there. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this forecast, a cold front did move through parts of the southern plains. Here's that cold front right now, and that is going to be pushing through areas along the Gulf Coast eventually. Not everybody, though, because areas like Florida, you're not going to really see any relief. That heat is actually not going anywhere. Florida will be the one state this weekend that'll be in summer. Meanwhile, the rest of the country will be in fall. It's going to be a very interesting little dilemma there. Unless you're in like northern Florida, that'd be the only exception. Most of central and southern Florida will be in the situation where there will be 80s and potentially near 90 for high temperatures. Heat is really not going to return anytime soon, though, for most of the United States. We are going to have a high pressure system. So again, temperatures well above average, especially in the northern plains and as well as the Midwest. But uh, that is obviously something that is going to happen when we have a strong high pressure system and really no relief when it comes to rainfall either. Here are the temperature anomalies. Again, this gives you an idea of above average or below normal temperatures. And overall, above average temperatures are going to be the trend in the next week. Notice again, record breaking high temperatures will be possible next week across parts of the Midwest and the Northern Plains. Meanwhile, really no signs of relief when it comes to colder weather over the next seven to 10 days. But I think we'll have some of that coming closer to Thanksgiving. And by the way, here are the temperatures that we've observed today across the United States. Notice 80s across much of the East Coast and the Southern Plains. Virginia into the 80s in some spots. Crazy stuff. By the time we go to Saturday, it's going to be a different story. Many areas barely getting out of the 50s. If not, you might not even get out of the 50s across parts of the East Coast and as well as much of the Great Plains. And then again, Florida really in its own world at this point. You'll be watching for 80s, maybe even close to 90 in some spots. Crazy weather there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already.